Okay Google, which is the largest metro system in India? Delhi Metro is the second oldest metro after Kolkata Metro. It was New Delhi, the paradise of Metro Railway. Although the Kolkata Metro flaunts a slogan of India's first, Kolkata's pride, but it's no more the pride of Kolkatans. But the Delhi Metro can be considered to be not only Delhi's but the entire nation's pride. Stretching over 343.46 kilometers, it's the world's eighth largest metro system. And if you include the Noida and Gurgaon metros, it counts to be 385 kilometers, serving the national capital region. It has become world's 16th busiest metro by serving 2.54 million people every day, making over 2,700 trips. In order to expand Metro Rail Block to Delhi, it was important for us to physically experience the growth of Delhi Metro, especially the new pink and magenta lines. So, we flew to Delhi all the way from Kolkata a few days ago and experienced the new version of Delhi Metro. We were familiar to the old red line, blue line, yellow line, etc. But the pink line, magenta line and the Noida Greater Noida Metro or the aqua line was something different. So, from Noida in the east to Dwarka in the west, from Gurgaon in the south to Kashmiri Gate in the north, we rode more than 300 kilometers of metro in just three days. We were also invited to the YouTube FanFest Creators Camp, which was a minor task for us, but our main motto was to note down how good a metro can actually be. As the pink and magenta lines are new to us, we were awestruck to see them. These are India's first driverless metro, or technically which we call UTO. UTO stands for Unattended Train Operation and these trains don't need a driver or attendance to operate but still DMRC uses drivers we don't know why. Kudos to Hyundai Rotem and BEML for manufacturing these beautiful rakes. For those who don't know, the first few rakes of pink and magenta lines were actually manufactured in South Korea. Later on, the technology was given to Bengaluru-based BEML to reduce the transportation cost. Manufacturing these kind of rakes at BEML factory will act as a technology transfer. This way, BEML now has the ability to manufacture these type of metro trains within India on its own. We felt that the purpose of building the magenta line was satisfied, but the pink line is suffering a lot. I mean, it's important to join the Mayur Vihar Pocket 1 to Trilokpuri Sanjay Lake section which faces encroachment problems. Without this section, the Trilokpuri to Shiv Bihar section of the line is isolated and is not feasible. We will make a separate video on that. Being metro enthusiasts, we have experienced many metro rails, but the metro which we will never forget is the Noida Metro Aqua Line. As stated in our earlier videos, the Noida Metro Aqua Line runs through empty rural areas joining Noida with Greater Noida. Since we were asked not to shoot inside the premises, we don't have videos. But you can see this image on the screen and imagine what it is like to take a metro to ride through rural areas. Okay, our point is the construction of Noida Metro could easily be avoided. Implementing a bus rapid transit by utilizing the existing streets or even improving the existing road transit transport by using electric buses could have solved the problem. The requirement of the metro in Noida was fulfilled by DMRC itself when the blue line was extended, but you have to agree that the aqua line is useless in 2019 and a better road transport could have easily solved the problem. Well, the new metro railway policy of 2017 will avoid the construction of this kind of rural metros as it is mandatory to have a catchment area of 5 km per station. Experiencing the Delhi Metro was awesome and it was possible because of your love and support. Please keep on supporting and we promise to expand Metro Rail Block to other cities as well. If you like this video, please consider subscribing to our channel and let us know which city you want us to experience next. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.